Sagging pants may have been a trend, but now in South Carolina, lawmakers are proposing a new bill to make sagging pants unlawful. Offenders of the saggy pants law may have to pay up to $75 in fines and forfeit from scholarships and financial aid. With sagging pants being a trend on college campuses and fines directed towards college students, we got some opinions of students at South Carolina State University. I mean, it's not really a bad law. I mean, it's kind of excessive that I'm going to get a fine if you say I'm sagging. So the question is, am I going to get fair treatment if I'm not sagging and they think I'm sagging? That's really the question. The whole about cutting scholarships and financial aid, that's that's cool, but that's like you're trying to, you're trying to force a belief down on the culture. I feel like it's a good law. The fine's a little bit overrated, but I feel like it's actually a good law. Maybe it could teach guys how to be more gentleman-like, wear their pants above their waist, wear a belt maybe. Yeah, you got to pull your pants up. Nobody want to see the bottom of your, you know, your toots, toots. <laughs> I want financial aid because that, that's free money right there, you know? Exactly. So if you think sagging is so important, you guys do it, no, but no don't be money. mad. Yeah, exactly. Like, I say pull up your pants. It's not, that's not outrageous. It's petty, but it's not outrageous. I also spoke to local law enforcement to see how they felt about the saggy pants law. In regards to the second pants bill that's been proposed. Um, second pants has become a, a issue of not necessarily epidemic, but um, it's an issue that needs to be addressed. Uh, you do have a lot of gender roles uh, as far as male and female that, you know, while, all in, while out in public, tend to expose themselves in that manner. Uh, as far as the uh, violation being placed on it, which is, I believe, $25 fine on up to $75 fine at, at the multiple violations, um, it may be an issue that couldn't deter uh, subjects from, you know, sagging pants. Currently, mostly South Carolina Democrats support this bill, and they all agree that this bill has nothing to do with targeting minorities. But are these excessive fines actually going to work and go against people sagging their pants? My name is Nikia Ali, and this is This Week at SC State.